Hello everyone, my name is Mike from Need to Achieve. This is now mission 10, quarters D. So for the first challenge, it is to take out all of the drones with the first set of bullets. That's how I interpret it, because that's what you've got to do. So basically watch this section several times, or maybe even play the mission several times, until you get this first challenge. It is at the beginning, so yep, basically all you need to do is just highlight everyone for the first time. It just involves you spinning around to find them as soon as possible. They are always in the same location, so take your time, learn and do it, and then the challenge will pop right afterwards. Challenge number two. Equipping the sniper, make sure you actually go to the sniping spot and not choose the repel. And all you need to do is stand here and take out ten people with a headshot. Okay, so directly after being shot off the uh, bridge, make your way down the left hand side of the map near this burning beigey type car for intel number one. Just a quick spoken tutorial about this sniper rifle. On the right hand side of the screen you can see there are five little sections. Charging them up to the fifth is obviously deep penetration and having one is not deep penetration. That's all you need to know. Deep penetration. Sorry about that. Um, challenge number three now, after you get your Jeep smashed into by somebody else, turn right, go into the back of this truck, access these drones, and then when you walk back out of here, obviously you're now in control of some drones. Take out eight people, but stand back. Make sure your guys don't take out any. This should be very, very easy. Okay, so inter number two isn't long after inter number one. Just making your way into this building after using your drones to take out eight people. Intel 2 is here on the desk, not where the guy's head is, but yeah, on the desk. So now, after collecting the intel, make your way out of this room, any means necessary, and um, run over to this access point here. Open it up with your uh, jaws of life, or whatever they're called on this game, the jaws of something and retrieve this guy he'll be very thankful and you'll get the next challenge backtracking to intel 2 making our way now to intel 3 going left instead of going to where that jeep was where you got the guy out of make your way up the stairs on the right underneath the uh, newspaper stand is into number three and turn around and access this after going up the stairs once you've accessed the door you'll just come to a sound turret there's nothing special you've got to do with it, just take out all the enemies possible. 30 to be precise. Okay, so the next challenge is easy. You have to protect the G20 Cougar, which is to our left. Take out the rocket guys on the back wall where I just shot, and then basically go ahead and kill who you want, because it doesn't die anyway. Well, it does die. It's just very easy to keep it alive. Sorry if I confused you. Okay, so the mission is now coming to a close, but there are two more challenges to get. This one we're getting now is really, really simple. Just need to stay with the convoy, you can see below, um, and take out every, or nearly every piece of enemy you can see. Um, I did this on Veteran, and I got it even without trying. I didn't even do the challenges, but all you need to do is just take out everyone this easy as that just have fun just go kill as many people as you wish but if you do notice that one of your guys has died um, I'm not sure if you can go back I didn't need to go back I didn't try so unfortunately I can't give you that piece of information but all I recommend doing if you haven't got a checkpoint is just to fly off into a certain area until you get to the, uh, the the border of the game and it just does the mission end anyway. But keeping in mind that will kill you so you have to do the mission again. Uh, yeah, so just keep shooting everyone. Go absolutely nuts, do what you wish to do, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then basically as soon as you get to the location, um, just around this corner to be precise, um, it will come to a close and then all you need to do for the next challenge which I will talk you through very soon is to use your starburst missiles okay so this is a glitchy challenge as you can see the transition between these two videos 
is the fact that the bottom right hand side of the screen you can now read starburst missiles originally on the video just before this video started you couldn't so I'm not really sure about how to get it there are speculation that you're supposed to do it on veteran maybe hardened there is no precise way of doing it I however happen to get it on my second playthrough recording this actual guide so as soon as you see that the starburst missile is activated killing three drones is as easy as picking your nose and wiping it on your mum's face just highlight as many guys as you need to do shoot and I got it in a matter of seconds so this is now going to be the last challenge obviously it goes without saying but I'm gonna say it anyway because I did in the last video do the whole mission without dying to get yourself the last challenge. I'm Mike from Need to Achieve. Comment, like, and subscribe. I love you all to pieces like I do my own kids. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, even though it's now January 21st. Love you lots. Bye. Starburst missiles? What the f are starburst missiles? They're Skybuster rockets. For sake.